You're not living according to godliness. You're not seeing Jesus. You have a Jesus of your imagination. And there are many within the so-called Christian community that say they're going to see Jesus. And they're trying to work their way to Jesus. But they're not going to see Jesus. Show me where that is in the scripture. No problem. I'll take you to one of the most frightening scriptures in the Bible. Matthew 7. You know where I'm going. Let's go there. And You need to see this. Verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Knowledge of the truth. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. Now, wait a minute. Many? He didn't say just a little bit. He said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. Here it goes. Have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? They talk about what they did. See, they did not know the gospel. But they prophesied. But they cast out demons in his name. But they knew not the gospel. They doing works. It's to call them Lord, Lord. Listen to what he says. And then I will profess unto them. Woo! I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Oh, you were professing to know me. Now I'm going to profess, I never knew you. Jesus not playing. Depart from me, you workers of sin. Because you didn't do things according to godliness. You had no hope for eternal life. Though you said you were going to see me, I'm not I'm professing. I don't know you. Makes you think about your Christian profession. It's not about do you know Jesus. The question is, does Jesus Christ know you? If he does, you're going to grow in the knowledge of the truth which is according to godliness in the hope of eternal life. You're going forward. But don't you be counting on someday you walk down an aisle and say, well, Lord, I, I, I knew I was saved and I profess to be a Christian He's going to say in verse 23, And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. That ought to scare your pants off. That's what it's meant to do. To straighten the Christian up according to godliness. <laughs> That's to get you to do the will of the Father. And what's that? To know the gospel. To know the knowledge of the truth. To know Him. To know Jesus Christ. To grow in Christ. To imitate Christ. To get you from following man and to follow Him. I got to talk to you like this. To scare you and put you in the fear of God. That's why that's there. And I'm glad he's never going to take it out. You ought to rejoice when you hear Matthew 7, 21 through 23. I, I, that, that verse kind of scares me. It's supposed to. It's supposed to scare you. That's what it was meant to do. <laughs> like, oh my, the Lord ain't playing. No, he's not playing. He's not joking. See, today I had to deal with my son who's given some discipline issues and not wanting to listen and I told him I'm not playing with you. 
I'm not playing with you. Well, that's what Christ is saying to his children. I'm not playing with you. Christian, you my slave. I ain't playing games with you. Are you living according to godliness, Karsten? Because I'm not playing with you. Huh. I'm going to end up right here. Next time we will talk about the promise of the expectation. The purpose of this and I hope you can see that is that we have to do things according to godliness so that we live as lights in this world that does not know Christ. You have to do what the word of God says do. Not do what you think. Well, I've never taken a drink in my life. Is that according to godliness? Is that your religious thought? See, religion can blind you too. You have to do according to what the Word of God says. So this has been Difference Maker. Say to you, God bless, my beloved. Stay in tune, the Holy Word of God. Oh, that means it's time to go. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Remember that you must now Study the Word of God. All the scriptures that were mentioned in the presentation. Go and research. Go and study the Word of God for yourself. Don't just believe the teacher. Don't believe the preacher. But believe the Word of Jesus Christ who is Lord. Oh yes. And stay away from false teachers who tell you nothing but lies. Investigate the word that they say by the word of God. Remember in Acts 17, verse 11, the Bereans investigated to see what Paul said was true. Do also the same for any time you hear the word. God bless, my friends. Gotta go, gotta go. I'm out. <laughs>